five days to get to and from the cargo deck. It's unbelievable. Well, that's 2,000 floors, sir. Without the lifts, we've made pretty good time. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> My heavens! What on earth was that? I think it came from outside the ship. Are you OK? <laughs> Is there any way we can get a damage report? What's going on? Why are you speaking so quickly, sir? I'm not speaking quickly. I'm speaking perfectly normally. It's you. You're speaking too slowly. It's like having a conversation with Paul Robeson on dope. <laughs> how do I sound now? Normal. How do I sound? Likewise. What about from over here? You sound very peculiar indeed, sir. In fact, you sound as if you're speaking in slow motion. And now? Normal. Curious. It's as though we're experiencing relative time dilation in an amazingly compressed space. That's exactly what I thought. Relative time dilation, I thought, in an amazingly compressed space. You're a mind reader, Crichton. <laughs> I think we should go up to the science room and consult Holly. It's only two floors up. But she's got less than two minutes of runtime left. With her new IQ, it could be enough. <laughs>